Hey guys, welcome to English Football Club, your Barcelona channel in English. Today there are some news that we have to talk about, but first I want to remind you that down there there is a red button that you can hit to subscribe and like this you will not miss any of our daily videos. And now just let's just start. <laughs> Well, the first thing we have to talk about today is about Claudia Pina. It seems that Barcelona will sign will sign the reno, the renewal for the 19-year-old player who was last year in Sevilla playing as a loan. Uh, actually, she did a great season with Barcelona. And, uh, sorry, with Sevilla. And some days ago, we were saying that Barcelona will not renew her, which. Personally, I thought it's it's it was weird because she was doing a great season with Sevilla. So normally, when you have a great player that you want to, well, when you have a, gr a a great player in another team that is actually your player, what you expect or what you want is to have that player in your team and help her or him to develop. So that was actually his uh, one of his partners wrote. Uh, Those are fake news that person won't will not renew her. So it's a good news. Barcelona will have her this forward for the next season. It's a great news for the women's team. Also, talking about the women's team, Vicky Lozada, the last or the ex-captain of the women's Barcelona's team, uh, has signed, well, yesterday she, she signed for a two-year contract with Manchester City. Actually, the, the the player has said that this experience in Barcelona has helped her to improve her skills of leadership and also her her quality as a player. So uh, I think it's a great opportunity for Manchester City having this player that Barcelona, she did a great season. She I'm sure she will apport a lot of things to to the to the team of Manchester. And now let's talk about the men, the males, because the men team, the first team, they are having real problems uh, with the, the fair play. Actually, there are some news saying that the the fair play for Barcelona could decrease even more. And uh, the other day we were saying we well yesterday we did the counts and we said that we that the first team had an. Uh, uh, a total payroll over 600 million euros and actually the Barcelona should decrease that payroll because it's almost whole salary it's almost a 90 percent of the economy of the team this year and you remember the fair play in Spain is 70 percent so they have to decrease that payroll um, and the problem here is that there are news well cutting that payroll should be now around uh well they should pay around 347 millions i think right the problem is that the latest news that we've read is that barcelona may have to reduce that even more to cut the total payroll to 150 million euros which is sincerely it's very uh not really much money for uh for for uh, athletes who are from the top of the top. Because when you have players like Griezmann, Messi, Piquet, you cannot pay them 1 million or thousand, uh, 100 thousands. What you have to pay them is according to their status. So the Barcelona is reducing this the, the salaries, of course, as we have been talking about. Uh, Piquet and all of those are asking them maybe to get five, four or five million euros now which is more or less a good salary for a good player but the problem is that with all the players that we have paying five millions will be more than even what these uh, numbers are saying and even more having Messi so uh, for me it seems a bit like fake news because having a team who is in the Champions League who is getting who is one of the, the teams with highest income in the world, I don't think 150 million euros is really much money to, to put for this salary. But well, 
one of the ways to decrease that and it's thing, something that we didn't talk about yesterday it's selling players or give them as a loan and that's what happened with Trincao. Trincao didn't find its place in Barcelona last year he had some chances but he didn't um he, he then take profit from them because he he was as a substitute many matches at the beginning but at the end it seems that Kuman finally decided not to trust him much more so as he expected not to have more minutes and Barcelona doesn't want to sell him because he's a young player with a, a good uh, perspective uh, perspective or a good perspective on from uh, on the future they decided to to take him uh, and sell. Well, I give him as a loan for the next year, so it's a a chance for him to develop. And if he improves, he will have minutes, of course, in Wolves. If he improves, he will come back for Barcelona. Maybe he has a an option, a, a place to play. Who knows? Other option is to sell players. For example, Pjanic. Pjanic. The problem is that. Uh, at the beginning of the preseason, well, at the beginning of holidays, he said clearly to Barcelona that if Kuman continues, he wants to leave. Until the moment, it was some teams in in Italy, and it seems Manchester United who were interested in him, but they didn't uh, they didn't make an official offer for him. So now Tottenham and Mont and Chelsea seems that they want to they want to sign the Bosnian player. So they are in conversations with him as his agents, and it seems that Tottenham in this moment is the most uh, the most probable team who will sign uh, Pjanic. The problem is that Barcelona will uh, will skip his salary, so we'll, we will not have to pay him sal his salary, but we will have still to pay 45 million euros to Juventus as well. That's uh, Bartomeu's management. Other option would be selling Busquets. Barcelona doesn't want to sell Busquets. That's true. And I think it's not a good option. Actually, he has an offer from the um, from the USA League, from the MLS. But it seems that even, even Busquets is not really interested in that. He knows about that offer, but he kept, kept it there. He's not even yet... 33 years old and next year we have the World Cup so of course I think Barcelona he, he uh, they decide or they will let the player to stay in Barcelona one year more or one more year and then when finish the World Cup maybe he will leave Barcelona uh, to England to the um, to the USA League other option is it will be Griezmann I've read a lot that if Griezmann leaves with other players, as in Titi or Pjanic or Langlet or Neto, we would have no problem else. The problem is that the, last, the latest needs is that Griezmann will go to Manchester City. And if he didn't adapt to Barcelona, I don't think he will adapt to Manchester City. And even more, I think he's not a player for Manchester City. His characteristics and how Manchester City plays with Guardiola, it doesn't match really. So for him, it will be better an option like Atletico or uh, I don't know, other teams like Milan or the no, but not of course Manchester City. And actually, there are so many stars in Manchester City, so many cracks that it's going to be very difficult for him to to make the difference. And also, I've read that Sergio Roberto and Barcelona are talking about renewing this his contract. It will be a, a renewal of two years, paying him in three years to to cut the the total payroll, the amount of money that Barcelona has to pay for salaries on salaries. In my opinion, it's a wrong decision. I mean. Sergio Roberto this last season showed that his level is decreasing. Actually, I never thought he was a player for Barcelona. As, as I think Alenia, Ricky Puig, or even Kukureya had the level to be in Barcelona, but some of them they left because there is no space. For Sergio Roberto, I think 
the, the, the opposite. I think he's not a player for Barcelona, and that's my personal opinion, just because I don't like how he plays. Just that. I'm not saying uh, he's a bad player or whatever. I just, I just think it's, it's not uh, a person who should be in Barcelona, but he could be in Valencia or other teams uh, or Villarreal perfectly, and he would be a very good player and very helpful. But anyway, Barcelona wants to keep him, I guess, so many years in Barcelona, but after all, they don't want to sell him or I don't, I don't really know what is going on with this situation, but they are talking about renewing him. So that's the news on I told you. I, I, I don't agree, but I'm not the president. So. And la the latest news I read is that, well, about the preseason, Barcelona will play in Israel on August 4th. Yeah. and. They will play, well, we were talking about Barcelona playing against Villarreal, but before Barcelona will play against Bater, it's an Israeli uh, team. But it seems the Palestinian Football Association is not happy with this decision. You know, the Palestinian and Israel has these problems, but further than that, it seems the Palestinian, the, the Bater, has a kind of hooligans uh, supporters and also. Bater didn't sign or never signed uh, players as Arabs or Palestinians. So it, there is a, a kind of uh, thought that that Bater is a kind of racist team. So Palestinians are feeling like Bar this kind of uh, peace tour that Barcelona did eight years ago, um, it's becoming a bit fake. So they are uh, they are saying that they, they don't agree with this decision from Barcelona to play against this team who is racist, etc. And in my opinion, if that's so, Barcelona should cancel that that match. And pray, maybe if you want to play against a good team from Israel, Tel Aviv could be a good a good team. Grief was coaching them. They won some leagues in the in the country. I think it could be a good option, better even than Beitar. So I don't know why Barcelona took this decision, but anyway, in my opinion, it will be better to change it. Because also, when you play with a team that of these characteristics, that it's involved with racism and all those things, it may affect your image too. So that's my opinion. And now I'd like to know, which, what's your opinion? What should Barcelona do after knowing these declarations from the Palestinian Federation, uh, Football Association? Should Barcelona stay, keep playing the match? Should Barcelona leave the match and play with against other teams canceling that match? Well, any which whatever is your opinion, please leave it on the comments. I will be very happy to read it. Also, thank you for watching us. Remember, if you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any of our daily videos. And see you in the next video. Bye.